Archicad 29 has now been released and I've had the privilege of using it for just over a week. If I was to summarize the latest version in one word, it would unfortunately have to be embarrassing. Let me break it down and explain. First of all, Archicad 29 comes in with the big guns. AI for Archicad. You know, in the background you're thinking AI and Archicad is going to be incredible. It's going to be game changing for all of us. But what it really is, is an advanced find and select tool. Instead of using the find and select tool and breaking down the different options in a little bit more of a complicated method, you can now simply type into the AI chatbot that you'd like to showcase all of the structural columns or all of the doors over 820 mil wide, and it will automatically select and show just those elements for you. Now, this definitely has some advantages over the traditional find and select, but I wouldn't call it groundbreaking AI in any way, shape or form. Then to rub salt in the wounds, they're proclaiming that it is an advanced chatbot specifically trained exclusively on Archicad content, Archicad courses, and knows everything about Archicad and general standards. The caveat is when it comes to those general standards though, it's only been trained on UK standards. So here in Australia or in America or anywhere else around the world, you're not gonna be able to use the luxury of the inbuilt chatbot. Instead, you're gonna default back to ChatGPT like we all have for the past year and probably never use this AI function. To be cynical, I fear that it's going to turn into a very similar advanced new feature like the AI visualizer, a haphazard integration into ArcCAD that generally just dies after a few weeks of trial because it hasn't been fully executed. Further yet, there is even more promises of great advancements to the AI that just seemingly aren't coming and have no roadmap either. So I'm very, very cynical on the whole ArcCAD 29 AI update. And that's where this whole embarrassment starts to stem from. Given that ArcCAD has just completely changed their pricing model, gone from perpetual licensing to cloud licensing, you'd think that they'd be introducing massive, massive updates to the system. But no, instead we're paying thousands and thousands of dollars every year now to maintain our subscription compared to what we were paying cents on the dollar the year previous for an update that is lackluster. We've been gifted with quick rotate. Amazing, how joyful is that? Instead of having to manually rotate objects, you can just simply press three keys and it'll automatically rotate it. This isn't a brand new feature update. This should be something that comes in as a midterm update to just generally appease users for bugs and errors that should have been resolved many moons ago. Similarly, the fact that you can now all of a sudden do openings in sections and elevations to help speed up your workflow, awesome, but that really should have come from the day this tool was implemented. The feedback came immediately after, but yet they sat on it for generations until it finally became an update. There is some light in this horrendous tunnel and that is the cabinetry update. There has been minor tweaks to the cabinetry that was released in the latest version of ArcCAD 28 where they restructured the entire library and caused every template manager an absolute nightmare. The new kitchen template has gotten better. It has some improvements. Are they worth upgrading specifically to ArcCAD 29? Absolutely not, but it is definitely a positive in this negative story today. There are a couple other additions to ArcCAD 29 that have come exclusively to ArcCAD 29. And I phrase it that way with a bit of a cheeky grin. You see, dark mode in macOS is brand new to ArcCAD 29. And that, unfortunately, isn't true at all. Dark mode has been promised in macOS since as far back as ArcCAD 26 from memory. I could be slightly wrong, but it has been promised for many versions and part of the release notes that dark mode is now available and it's this grand gesture. So I'm completely discounting dark mode as a new feature in ArcCAD 29. We'll jump back to some of the things that are a little bit more positive. When you previously imported 3D images into your documentation package, it was defaulted to 72 DPI. You were unable to change that in past versions. You do have the flexibility to change it and increase it to whatever you need now which is amazing because you can get high quality 3Ds directly exported out of the ArcCAD model without having to do too much extra work. Here's the downside of it. In the ArcCAD official video, they showed a 20 DPI video upgraded to 300 DPI instead of a 72 to 300. This is a vast difference from 20 to 72, and they made this feature seem like a gigantic leap 
when genuinely it's just a nice little touch that once again should truly have been just a gesture of goodwill from Archicad in a hot fix and gone, there you go, we've fixed it, you're welcome. The theme of minor updates continues with filter and select unused views. You can instantly find and manage unused views in your project to simply clean it up and make your Archicad project a little bit easier to run. Again, not a huge advancement, but a nice little checkbox to tick nonetheless. Like most users watching this video, I've been using Archicad for years and I've been using the renovation status for many years too. Finally, do we have the option of adjusting the markers to elevation status as well? So if we want our section or elevation markers to be new, existing or demolished, we have that ability now in Archicad 29. Again, is this a huge update or is this something that should have been a hot fix? I'll let you guys decide, leave a comment down below. With not many more grand features left, I'll quickly run through the rest of the updates in Archicad 29. Now we have the freedom and flexibility to upgrade our arrowheads. I don't really know if I need to add more to that, but amazing, we can upgrade our arrowheads. Cool, next. We do have a significant improvement to the scheduling and the formatting of the schedules and tables in Archicad 29, which is genuinely a welcomed improvement as Archicad becomes a great tool for trying to schedule and trying, I'll use that word loosely, to export some sort of quantities for your construction projects. Now, this is all user-driven, of course, and it's incredibly challenging to make sure the model is 100% right. Sometimes it is just quicker to do a red pen markup and find out your square meterages, but the feature is very good for the users that do want to use it. And having the ability to customize your schedules just means a hell of a lot less 2D and manual work. Finally, to finish off, there is a couple collaboration items from Bluebeam to BIM Plus connection. And of course, you can now import OBJs natively into ArcCAD. Depending on the OBJ file, the complexity of the polygons and the size of the model, it's again going to slow down your ArcCAD model just like FBX models do. But there are so many amazing objects in OBJ format that at least it gives you the added advantage of bringing them in into ArcCAD if you're not using a real-time rendering software. Anyway, that is all of the new features for ArcCAD 29, at least what they've told us today and what I've been able to experience over the last week. They are promising great new updates. They are promising more in 29, but until that day happens, I can't make a comment. I can't give you guys any feedback and I remain disappointed and embarrassed for ArcCAD. Anyway, that's all for me today, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And like always, I'll see you next week.